So there is a big drop, definitely on that side and on that side, but it's not as steep down this side. There's some nice hoar frost on these rocks. Look how thick that is. So there it is. Oh, yeah. So that's a nice view of Lewitt on the left and Snowden where we've just come down. And here's a wider view of the whole scene. You can see Crib Goch reflected in the lake down there. It's a very tranquil scene down at the lake. Morning folks, I'm just heading up the Land Bearers Valley towards Penny Pass and I'm planning to do the Snowden Horseshoe today. It's a nice looking day and I think there'll be plenty of snow up there. So we're just coming up to the pass now. Ahead of us we can see the Penny Path Youth Hostel. And I actually stayed here in 1975, which is when I actually started climbing. Hopefully, there'll be space in the car park because it's often full. I can actually see a place here. So it's 9.20 in the morning and I've just set off. There's the youth hostel down there, and I'm heading off in this direction. The Snowden Horseshoe is a ridge walk taking in Kribgoch, Snowden, and Kluwev. There is an exposed knife edge ridge on Kribgoch and some grade one scrambling, so it will be interesting to see what it is like in snowy conditions.
There's plenty of ice on the path. So I've got an ordnance survey map on my phone, which I can actually use offline using the phone's GPS. So uh, although I like using a map, this actually makes life very easy. That little red arrow is me walking along the path. We'll take this path going up here onto the Kribgoch Ridge. Let's go. And we see a nice sign here, Kribgoch. So there's a warning here, extreme technical route, grade one scramble. So let's see what it's like in these snowy conditions. There's a bit of deep snow here. But luckily, others have been before me, so there are some nice steps already kicked into the snow. So this is where the ridge starts to get steeper. I can see some people up there making their way slowly upwards. Well, there's a wonderful view over in that direction. I'm heading up the ridge there. Now I haven't got uh, crampons, but I do have micro spikes, which I've just put on. So that's what they look like. And I've also got a walking stick, which could be useful. So I've just finished that steep bit, which was interesting. Here's a view looking back down. Actually the hardest part was at the very beginning. And so I'm going to continue along the ridge, which looks like this. So it looks like it's very exposed going over those far pinnacles. Just follow the ridge all the way. So there is a big drop, definitely on that side and on that side, but it's not as steep down this side. It is reassuring having these guys in front of me actually.
there's the view looking back the way I came and there's the view down to the coast These pinnacles here look really cool. Luckily the path is not following the actual crest of the ridge, which you'd follow in the summer. It's just uh, good scrambling really. But we've got a lower route, which is what I'm gonna follow down there. So I'm just heading down here and you can see the track in the snow going up the ridge. So I just came down there and on we go. Unfortunately, I forgot my head mount for the GoPro, so I couldn't really film any of that. But it wasn't particularly difficult anyway. There's a nice view back along the ridge. You can see a couple of people standing on the top. I don't know if they're helping somebody, it's quite possible. It looks like we're coming up to a rocky bit here. Now that looks like fun, but I think I'll probably take the easier way around here. Here I am. That looks interesting. There's some nice hoar frost on these rocks. I'm heading up there somewhere. So I've just got to go over there and then follow the ridge down. And there's the top of Snowden over there and then start heading down the Watkin path, as it's known. We can see right down to the coast down there. We're just coming up to the top of Cribby Diskill, I think it's called. And from there, we're gonna, we're gonna drop down a bit and then start climbing up to the top of Snowden, which is over there.
There's a nice bit of hoar frost on this. Look how thick that is. Very nice. On we go. It's amazing that, so you can see the sea over there and I think that's the Flynn Peninsula over there and you can look down to the coast beyond Snowdon So I did the Kribgoch Ridge just using micro spikes on my walking boots and uh, I had a walking stick but I should point out that most people actually were using crampons and a single ice axe so I wouldn't necessarily say it's a good thing to do it in micro spikes but it worked for me they certainly weren't slipping off the pig track which you can see coming up steeply from the left just down there and then, so I'll be joining that route for the last climb up the ridge to the summit of Snowden up there. Lovely firm surface down here, well frozen. Quite a few people ahead of me, and of course, quite a few people on the summit of Snowden 